All right, not often for me, but sometimes, just sometimes, the cards roll my way. Looking for a power washer. I bought a power washer. The only one they had that I wanted was already put together, ready to go. Saved me a problem. That, would, that just saved me an anger management issue. Now we're gonna head back home and get to plan. All right, guys, here's the plan. We got a mud hole back here. It's been soft. Anyway, here's what we got. We have lost a lot of dirt in these raised beds. However, what we're going to do is we're going to turn them all sideways. So this is going to run along the back. That's going to run this way along the back. This one here's got to get shortened, and it's going to run along the back as well. Now we're going to take our composter. Apparently, I got to fix it already, and move it over beside the shed. We're going to have to get another load of dirt in here because I don't know where it's all going, but it's going. So you kind of see where I'm going with this. I'm going to be all along the back wall, which gives a little more backyard, because let's be real, I ain't got much of a backyard as it is. So I got to move the composter over to the shed and then turn this one sideways. Picking up what I'm throwing down. Now we have that basically where that's going. You can kind of see what I'm getting at. All I'm gonna do is take this dirt, fill that in, and I'm gonna put the stone across the front. It's hot today, I like it. me shovel dirt's not the most exciting thing but we're trying to grow our own food no one can deny what's going on in the world today growing your own food is going to be essential so we're trying to make this as efficient as possible so here's what i got so far all right so you see i cut the center one down moved them all lengthways across the back and moved the compost pile over closer to the shed so they can shovel right out of the compost pile right into Right out of the comp you shovel right out of the compost pile right into the garden. And our backyard is not that big as it is, so we need more space. Ellis trampoline takes up quite a bit. Two German shepherds. Yeah, it's a mud hole. So now I gotta get the stone across the front. Jen's gonna get some grass seed while she's out. 
get it planted, keep the dogs out of here for a while. Cause man, this looks bad. <laughs> it looks bad. Yeah, it's supposed to rain the next couple of days. So if I can get the grass seed down, keep them out of here, hopefully we can get something to grow. And as soon as I get this done today, I'm gonna get some of the seeds that I harvested last year and we're gonna start planting those because it's, well, it's mid-March. Not sure when you're watching this, but it's mid-March. Time to get those into the pot so that we can get some plants going and then transplant them into our flower bed. Free food. That's the way I'm looking at it, free food. And there it is. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's more work than I've done in a long time. So I'm gonna go in and get some lunch and I'm gonna come back out and finish this. Then we're gonna pot some seeds. Pot some seeds, plant some seeds. I'm gonna put seeds in the dirt, you know what I mean. Well, lunch is done. Ain't nothing gourmet about chicken noodle soup, but kinda is what it is. Let's have a look and see where we're at. So I think that looks a whole lot better than what it did before. Gotta spread the rock out a little bit. And right over here is where the wood pile's going. So now, time for me to move the wood. <laughs> I am getting way too old for this manual labor stuff. Jesus Murphy. All right, here we go. Wood pile. That there's got to be burnt. But the wood pile's gone. Well, it ain't gone. It's over here. We got it all stacked over here out of the way. Yeah, I think planting our seeds are going to have to wait until tomorrow. I'm almost need a nap. And she wants to barbecue. Yeah, well, I can still barbecue, but planting, I'll see you in the morning. It's not quite the next day yet. Just went and had a shower. I had stunk so bad the flies wouldn't come near me. I told you I had to barbecue tonight. Here's what we got going on. Simple burgers. Unsure if we're going to plant the seeds tonight or not. Most likely not. So we'll show you that in the morning. So I'm going to go enjoy my supper and I'll see you in a minute. Well, about two seconds for you. Tomorrow for me. Well, it's obviously the next day and welcome back to another beautiful day in southwestern Ontario. The backyard's coming. I'm not ready to show you all that yet. I finished today off by planting some vegetable seeds, some of which I harvested last year. I've never done this before. Searching the YouTube, I find out that this is about the time that you're supposed to plant them. So we got some cucumbers and some tomatoes and some squash. The squash and the tomatoes, some of the tomato seeds, I harvested last year. Other stuff I just picked up the other day. All right, so over the winter, I picked up these, lack of a better term, seed holders. Uh, I got like 20 of them in a package at the at the bargain shop for 250. I don't think that's too bad of a deal. I've got good dirt in here. First thing we're gonna plant is squash. I got this last year. I have no idea how many you're supposed to put in one of these, so we're going to do two. There you have it. Some of them still have a little bit of paper towel on them. That's not going to hurt them. So now i got four, two different kinds of squash. I'm going to do some cucumber seeds. Again, I'm not 100% certain how many you put out here. Oh, there's a few seeds in there. A few seeds in there. Cover them up. Now on to the tomatoes. Beef steaks. Bit in each one, cover them up. These are the tomato seeds we harvested. So that's going to be it. We got two kinds of squash, two kinds of tomatoes, and some cucumbers. Is it going to work? I guess time will tell. 
So what I'm gonna do is during the day when it's somewhat warm out, I'm gonna bring them outside and leave them out here. And at night when it gets a lot cooler because we're not nowhere near summer temperatures yet, I'm gonna bring them inside the house and put them in the basement. Well, I think before we go, we should try out that new pressure washer. What do you think? Radley. The name is Radley. That's not, I didn't name the power washer. That's the company name is Radley. Never heard of it. We're about to give it a shot and see if it's worth it or I gotta contact the company. Well, there we go, check that out. So it's a 3200 PSI. We did a pretty good job on the deck. It almost looks new again. That's the easiest way to make your deck look good is to power wash all the dirt and mud and stuff off it. Well, I don't need to contact Radley and tell them about their product. We got all kinds of work done yesterday and a little bit done today and that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. And as always, get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Later.